And we have invited many schools and we expect a good attendance in the schools themselves. Because we want to educate our future taxpayers about the responsibility of paying taxes. And as you all know, the youth are the future of this country. Apart from education, there will also be special kiosks erected to give information about various provisions of the Income Tax Act. Now, as you know, in Meghalaya, the tribals are exempted from income tax under Section 226 of the Act. But along with this exemption comes certain statutory compliances that have to be made to claim this exemption. As you all know, the income tax has used information technology in a big way in order not only to improve taxpayer services, but also to check tax evasion. Now, everything in income tax is done online. Now, if you want to file a return, you can't file it physically as it was done a decade back. It has to be done online. And in order to file a return, you have to register yourself in the income tax website. So in this taxpayers hub, there will be facilities also for new taxpayers to get themselves registered on the income tax website. Because many people in Geelong are not registered on this website. Secondly, we will be also be, uh, distributing brochures and pamphlets to educate the taxpayers, uh, taxpayers especially the tribal taxpayers, and the tribal population of their obligations under the Income Tax Act. You know, most of the grievance in Meghala as far as uh, tribal taxpayers are concerned and tribal SSCs are concerned are because of ignorance. The ignorance about the Act. The Income Tax Department has got a lot of information because they use data mining. We get information from the banks, we get information from the various authorities, from the DTO, so we have a huge bank of information. And sometimes we want to verify this information that we receive. For example, if there are huge cash transaction in a bank account, we like to verify it. And verification is sent online. So we send it through email or we send it through uh, your SMS. Now most of the SACs here, they have not updated their email or they have not updated their mobile numbers. So some of the notices are not adhered to and as a result they lead to a lot of complications. So these and other issues uh, would be discussed and our team from the Interprax department consisting of senior officials would be there to handle any queries that come from our taxpayers.